When looking at setting up a hydroponic system, there will be some equipment that will be needed. Now, the specifics of the equipment that you need will depend on your exact system chosen, but there are some things that are true just about for all systems. So first off, the minimum equipment, uh, again, while there can be variability, would be a water um, monitor of some kind that will allow you to read the temperature, the EC or PPM, uh, and pH as well. Also, you need a quality water source or to be able to make a quality water source and precise measuring equipment. So that water monitor, uh, Blue, Lab's, uh, Blue Lab Guardian is, is pictured here. It's important to always know the current conditions of the water. pH is important, but so is the EC and temperature, and that's why I like this kind of all-in-one. This allows for continual checking and monitoring. Um, of, it's a good habit to get into, to always have this kind of reading that, and always making sure the numbers are where you expect them to be or within the range you expect them to be. Here the PPM is a little high, uh, but temperature is, looks good and pH also looks good. Uh, there's also wireless systems that can allow you to not only check on conditions remotely, so you don't even have to be in the room, uh, but can also sometimes give you alerts if a certain parameter is gone over or under to give you that indication uh, without you constantly having to check it. Also, quality water source. It's important uh, to know how your native water tests, meaning what do you need to do to modify that. It's important also to recheck uh, whatever source you're using over time to get an idea of a range. Don't just test it once and assume it's always like that throughout the entire year. Determine if you need to invest in a filtration system. It's uh, best to meet the native water conditions. For example, if you have high salts or high water, an RO or reverse osmosis system might be advised. If you have a lot of particulate present, a sediment filter. If you have chlorine coming out of tap water, a carbon filter may be your best option or a combination of these. Your measure equipment with hydroponics, it's very important to be exact with the nutrients you're adding. Keep in mind, looking at these graduated cylinders, there will be this little bit of this kind of bend to the water. It's called the meniscus. You always want to be reading the value at the bottom. So while this water does come up a little bit here and here, this would be a 40 unit measurement here. So you want to use the bottom of that, what's called the meniscus. Having quality measure equipment is important. You know, try to uh, get different gradations here. These are graduated cylinders. They are very accurate. Beakers are not very accurate. Always make sure that you're cleaning these before and after you use them, regarding of, regardless of what nutrients you are adding. Don't estimate. Know a value and be sure you're adding that amount. And check to confirm with your water monitor. Be sure those pH and, um, and those PPMs are hovering around where you need to be. And double check to make sure you didn't over or under add your nutrients.